What? You gotta be kidding me. My sheeps are... Oh, no. I AFK'd on the server because I thought we had the problem fixed with the exploding mobs. Clear we, we do not. Oh, look at all the holes. Hey there, Lantians. Cody here. Hey Welcome there, Tide Changers. Cracky kid here. What? What? Cody? Crack it. Today, guys, Kraken Kid and I are going to be starting this episode off together, but we're going to have separate episodes afterwards. We went and fought some crazy bosses. Hey, you got to stop shooting me. Uh, it's not me. It's it's inside my brain, dude. I don't know what's happening. Ow! Don't make me. Did you do that? You did it. Well, anyways, yes, today we are going to take a look at these chests. We fought some bosses and got uncraftable loot from them, and today we're going to split them. Courteous of me. Yes, you had a bunch of spawners, and you still have a ton more. We killed the Craigseus boss uh, in the Shirelands, and oh my god, we have so much loot. Are you Dude, kidding me? This is insane, and this was only like five or six. No, it was like ten bosses, actually, but I still have We a have a portal in... frame. Yeah, that's the one I'm probably most excited for. Dude, and the cool thing is we used the loot pet, so we are able to split this stuff up evenly. Yeah, the uh, loot pet basically duplicates all the drops. And, and with Scramble Craft, yeah, you get the you get the uncraftable drops. Some of these are pretty useless uncraftables. Uh, Shire Rock, yeah, it has no crafting recipe, dude, but it's so easy to get. Rock Shrimp? Ah. Wait, Battleborn Helmet, that's easy. Wait, why is that in there? Akiel's Diving Helmet. This is so epic. We have some of the coolest stuff. Can we just talk about the fact that we have four God's Great Blades? That's two four. for each of us, Cody. Four God's Great Blades, yes. Uh... Well, I guess we can split those off now. And, and and then we each get three of the ultimate medium staffs. Yep. Oh, my. No, we each get four. Now, there's still more stuff in this chest over here. Uh, oh, my God. Look at that statue. That's cool. Creation helmet. Increased creation regeneration. Minions are granted a random buff when spawned. What? Dude, this you can is use crazy. That. Which one? You, you've, you've mastered the creation helmet. Uh, the creation skill. You have 100, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at that top helmet in the top oh, left. Oh my gosh! Put it on, put it on, put it on. I can't even tell what it is. Okay, I'll put it on myself. You can't. You don't have a hundred creations. It's on there for a second. Okay, well, yes, that, that is happening. Well, look at it. I am the king of creation. That's actually pretty cool. Stop moving. Uh, Yeah, that's epic. I'm going to need one of those. What does this staff do? So, uh, it does not work exceptionally unexceptionally strong souls hmm dance with death it requires a ton of runes bro dude i know these i we gotta find a good way to get runes because this is not happening distortion rune power rune. dude we have helicopter rune? arms what helicopter arms <laughs> i i guess that's pretty cool bubble berries <gasps> flash boots two okay. different kind of flash boots black flash boots uh, crystal box sounds fragile. Better open it. Okay, I'm taking one of those. Da, da, da. Wait, where's the crystal thing? Oh, uh, it gave me a giant crystal, skill crystal. Grants experience to your lowest level skill. Ignores skills below level 15. <laughs> oh, I just got a ton of XP. Is that my hunter skill? Yes, it was. How much did you get in hunter? I think like uh, 15,000 or something like that. Nice. Did that give you some levels? Yeah, yeah, I think. I'm keeping mine inside the box. It's in the box. What's outside? What, uh, goo ball. 30.5 so, range? What the heck? I took one of everything out of that first chest, okay? Yeah, I'll let you, like, deal with the stuff. Because uh, you can just leave it at my house. White strange stone. I, I, I've taken a few things. You you get your goo ball. I just threw mine. It's wasted. Dude, um, what is with the pineapple upside down cake? Well, we're not going to ask too many questions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what? Go inside the chest with all the items. Look at that blue thing on the bottom left-hand corner. Rune randomize. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Does okay. that randomize, like, the wind runes that we get a ton of in this in this thing? Go get your wind runes. Yeah, yep. Wind runes are pretty trash. Uh, they're, like, the beginner level runes for uh, easy level staffs. Okay, rune runes. That, that could be amazing if that's actually what it does. That's just a total guess, though. But it says randomizes runes. Okay. It it does not work for me. Oh, crap. What did you do? 
Well, nice. That's there to stay, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bedrock bricks? What in the world? Do you see that? Yeah, I already grabbed mine. Okay. Well, I'll let you split off the rest of the stuff. Uh, it was a fun battle. We helped each other out. Good luck in your adventures, Kraken. Yeah, we'll go back to war now. We're not going back. Hey, stop shooting lasers. You're at my base. This is an act of war, if you, if you know what I mean. Oh, I do. Look at the glow inside my hands and feel the power. Guys, that was awesome. I can't believe all the uncraftable items we got, especially this raw shrimp. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's probably one of the worst ones because I can get it from fishing. So basically, um, if you're still a little confused on how the boss drops work, if you can't craft an item, then it's possible to get it from a boss. So because you can't craft the raw shrimp, you can only get it from fishing. Technically, that applies. But so don't a lot of awesome things um, like the grape blades. Yeah. And some of the rare guns. The spawners for a bloodsucker. Like there is some crazy items. This crystal box. We got all sorts of stuff. And I believe I'm going to rock this grape blade for a while, dude. Um, it's not too shabby. 30.5 attack damage. This is probably one of the best grape blades, if not the best. And check it out. I don't know what's moving at the top, but it's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> so, Grape Blades are overpowered swords that are in Scramble Craft, and they are just so much fun to swing around. So, if you guys want to see me do some more boss battles with uh, maybe Cannibal next time, let me know down below. I could also do some solo ones, and we'll just have a boatload of fun with it now that we have a good recipe and one to make. We still have a crap ton of these ancient rings 64 and 57 <laughs> i can't even imagine if we got this much loot from like 10 how many we are gonna get from all of that stuff it's just insane the possibilities so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get this stuff put away and then we're going to go get our thor's infinity gauntlet we're going to go get our spawners that cody or the spawner that cody gave us and the two that i got and we're gonna go fix my mob bomb baby yeah. Oh, no. Is that a blood moon? I feel like a blood moon's coming. I should get away. That is... Wait. Did you just see that? It looked right. Oh, yeah. Now it's right again. All right, guys. We are ready to go fix our mob bomb. We got the three spawners. We got a brand new great blade. And what is attacking me inside my own house? That is very rude of you. We'll take you. You'll be the first victim with this great blade. Uh, what is this? Oh... This is from one of the new mods that we just added, guys. So, I'm excited. It's it's the start of a new collection. Uh, <laughs> we have the TARDIS Circuit. So, I have a feeling I'm going to be needing a lot of these if I wanted to craft the recipe to make the TARDIS. But, of course, since this is Scramble Craft, you probably aren't going to be crafting the TARDIS how you normally would. So, let's go ahead and grab the Infinity Gauntlet because we are going to need that. We got a pickaxe as well. I think we got everything we need. So... <laughs> I am so excited to hopefully get this thing back up and running. One thing I didn't bring is some glass. I might need some of that to repair down below. Because I had to break some stuff to get inside of it. But I don't know if it was glass. No, it looks like it wasn't. Um, it was some stone slabs or iron slabs or something. Alright, so we have to fix the water flow on this. This was supposed to be the natural side. Cody messed up everything. Now, I'm hoping this is going to work if we just come back. Yes, okay, it did. So, yeah, this is where the mobs were supposed to naturally spawn in the dark. And the other side is where we use the spawners. So, I'm just going to leave that like it was. And then the mobs eventually, the uh, thing over here was, they'll eventually wander into the water and flow down. And then they get pushed down the center. So, there is something going on with the actual water flow here down to the center drop. That's not good. Well, let's just, let's get this stuff figured out first. Because maybe this will actually fix it in the long run. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that goes there. So, the interesting thing is, this is not how the other side is. And I don't know which one's correct. Oh, this is going to be bad. Hopefully, we can figure this out. So, what I think I have to do over here is actually block up all this water. And then let it reflow down. So, let's try this. Boom, we got water flowing. Not quite. I guess it just looks messed up, but it actually works right. So if you see 
these angle parts still push me down. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, so when I got up here, this thing was like a mess. I have no idea which side was which, so I just had to fix it real quick. This side is going to be for the spawners, and you just got to replace that. Watch this. This is so cool. I actually was able to copy. Let me, if I get this set up right, I can take a water source over here, copy it, and then replace anything with it. That is amazing. I can't believe I could do that with any liquid. Just copy and paste it. That is so cool. Um, the cool thing is we'll be able to do that with the shrink pin particles as well. So we'll have unlimited once we get another one. I'm not sure if I have any buckets of it left. But anyways, yeah, this one is going to be for the spotters. So we're going to have to place them above here. I think we're going to want to place them like three blocks above the water. Two or three blocks above the water. And that should be awesome. Then they'll spawn, fall down here, get pushed, and... There we go! Boop! Now, it doesn't start flowing right away, so what I actually have to do is place a block there, and then mine it up. And then it starts flowing as it should. So, this side is going to be natural. It'll spawn in, and then it'll just walk into uh, the water over here, and then hopefully get pushed. The water's like a little glitchy, but it still works right. Minecraft at its finest right here. Punching wood. What type of wood? I'm not even sure. We're going to find out though. Oh, that's a new recipe. So that means Cody definitely placed these, not me. Interesting. Well, thank you, Cody, for giving me a brand new type of log, brand new recipe. And I wonder what they make too. We'll check that out real quick. That's weird. It doesn't have any crafting recipe. So that means you can't even make planks out of it in normal Minecraft, I believe. Kraken said, let there be water flow. Yes, so now I got rid of those. Those were giving off a light source. We should start to see some naturally spawning mobs over here fairly soon. So I believe we just drop it there. And I hit it with a grow disc. And... What happened? Oh, I picked it up? Maybe there's something in the way. Let me, let me take this away. Because it might have uh, copied some other blocks as well. Now let's hit it with the grow disc. Boom! So that's not exactly where I wanted it, but that, that'll work. That'll do, donkey baby. Yes! Now the cool thing is, now that we know there's a way to move spawners, we can actually harvest whatever we want and bring them up here. Obviously, it's got to be something that'll die from this height. So I don't know if a lot of the modded spawners, a lot of you guys were wondering why I, why I don't put some of the modded ones that I've gotten from boss drops down there, is because that fall actually won't kill them. It'll only do like 20 or so hearts. So it's just high enough to kill, like, the skeletons, creepers, and zombies and stuff. I could make the drop higher. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before. So it actually would kill some of the um, modded stuff. But, I don't know. We'll just get this placed right there. Mine this stuff away. Oh, I'm so excited that the mob farm's going to be working again. All right. Grow disc. Boop. Uh... So sometimes the Grotus don't work. Did you notice that one didn't work either? Maybe it wasn't what I thought it was. Let's stay a little bit further back. Now Grotus. There we go. Come on, we got two Grotus left on us. Hey, it worked. So the bad part is these are all skeletons. So we're not going to get uh, some rotten flesh. We're not going to get gunpowder anymore. The good news is they are working very well. I don't remember how many spawners I had here when I originally made it. I think there was only two or three, so we might even be better off than we were before. So the spawners are working. I haven't seen any naturally spawning uh, mobs, though, so that's kind of sad. Hopefully that'll start working soon. <gasps> there was a rat! Those are supposed to be rare. I, I, I actually... Oh, no, it's at my house. Okay, okay, we gotta go to bed. We gotta go to bed. I actually have one of those rat sacks. The ones that you can catch a rat in. I'm not sure how to do it, but I know Mike said that you need a rat sack and you can catch rats. Boom! Contains zero rats. I'm hoping I just click on it and it'll be super easy for me. Oh, that is a good sight seeing some items there. All right, please didn't, don't despawn. No, he's right there. No, don't, don't go down. Did I catch it? No, he's gonna get pushed down. The poor rat. Get in my sack, dude! Uh, this isn't working. I don't... It's trying to catch something. It just keeps going. Oh, I think the rat's gone. 
Interesting. I am not clicking, guys. That thing is doing it all by itself, but it doesn't do it when I go at F5. That's weird. There goes another rat. Well, another one bites the dust. I think I got a part of it. <laughs> a rat pelt. If you know why I can't get them in my uh, rat sack right now, please let me know. There's probably something stupid I gotta do. Wow, these are full. I must have left this pretty full. <laughs> Anything good in here? Oh, look at all the rats that have been dying. Nice. Now, of course, that we fixed the mob farm, we're gonna have to run it for a while, guys. I mean, you can't just fix the mob farm and not use it for 10 episodes and then not use it again. So, we're gonna use it. Um, I gotta clear all this stuff. I'm gonna organize it in my dump chest down here. And then I will be right back. We need to see if the naturally spawning things will will come as well so we're gonna we're gonna go up there on the post watch through the glass that's why i made it glass to make sure everything was working and then we're gonna watch everything coming down see if we see anything besides skeletons um and if we do then we know it is working which is what we want and that looks like some overwatch boots right there <laughs> oh yeah well 20 minutes later guys i am not kidding 20 minutes and i am ready to see what's gonna spawn Hopefully, it is going to be a good mixture of things. Um, I expect to see a buttload of skeletons, and I'm not too sure what else. But we just got all that stuff organized in the chest, and man, it feels good, except for when I think about how much I have to do at the actual base. There's still way more than I can handle. Oh, I missed it. The first one is dead. Yep, skeleton, skeleton. So that is expensive. Expected. Hopefully we'll get some variety as well though. Okay guys, I'm gonna go make some lunch I'll be back in five minutes. Hopefully with a ton of awesome items We haven't used the mob farm in quite a while and we added quite a few mods since then So I'm expecting to see a lot of new stuff. It is definitely working I don't think it's as fast as before. I don't know if it's the positioning of them or what but or maybe we need to try to get higher. I'm not too sure, but it is working, so I can't wait any longer, guys. We gotta go at least do a check. Um, I might let it run a little bit longer, but I need to get down here and see. So, I really need to put that last hopper in there, because items always collect, and they never make it in. Uh, real quick, let's look at this stuff. Nether portal pit! No way, guys! Oh... Um, if you don't know why that's so important, I spent months trying to get my first nether portal pet, and I finally got one, and now I have a second one. So I don't have to worry as much about losing it, um, I can lend one out to one of my friends, and I will always have a spare. Oh, this is so good, I, this is one of the best items I could have gotten. Um, if you don't know Scramblecraft, all the portals are randomized, so when you're trying to go to the nether, you could actually get to set to one of the 20-something dimensions there are in Scramblecraft. There's no telling which one, and, and the same thing with returning home. I mean, even the return portal is scrambled as well. So, the only way to consistently get to the nether and back is using this nether portal pet. It instantly transports you to and back from the nether. Oh, that is amazing. And that wasn't even in the chest. I can't wait to see what else there was. The hydrangeic, uh, thing. The Seocron. Okay. Let's open the first chest. Come on, baby! Face mask. Uh, I think this is new. It's from AOA, but I don't think I've had this before. Uh, lunar helmet. Boric boots. Some of these might be new. Hey, it looks like the Boric boots were... That sounds gross. I don't know if I want to eat a mob soup. What kind of mobs are we talking about? Creepers? Zombies? Ant-Man tier 3 pants. Oh, this is probably one of the items that I have the least of for the Ant-Man tier 3. Another bag of holding. A trash chest. I'm pretty sure this deletes items, which actually will come in, a in, in handy when I'm trying to organize all that stuff. Because I have a lot of trash that I could just throw away. So I'll take that. Another skillet from Pam's Harvest Craft. Lyconic leggings. Those might be good. Come on. What do we got? Ooh, there's definitely some more items in this one. What? Spawn the Zeus. I will take that. Absolutely. Now, is there anything good to go with it? A cauldron, fabricated housing, whitewashing table. All right, Um. so I'm going to let this continue and keep running. And hopefully we can pull out something even more amazing. I'm actually going to AFK up here because I have plenty of nether quartz on me. So why not? I'll, I'll just try to get a little closer, see if we can't get an even better spawn rate 
and we'll see you guys in like another five ten minutes again sound good to you sound good to me it's mob farm time baby let's get back and check round number two now i did empty most of the stuff from the chest so it's almost a full chest holy smokes that's a lot of stuff falcon's boots that might be new we got a recipe oh that might complete our set oh speed leggings barren chest plate dude there is so much cool stuff how am i still getting the oh it's the stuff that's stuck inside the hoppers i always forget about that spawn void charger another spawn egg oh and it's inside the hopper as well <laughs> All right, so chest number one is looking pretty good. There is definitely some cool stuff in here. Rosidian leggings, that's actually pretty good. I only have one of those right now. No way. No way, dude. Are you kidding me? The moon pet. What does it do? Reverses gravity of mobs and items. Right click. That's insane. We finally have another new inventory pet. Dude, I, I swear I must have almost all of them. Uh-uh. No way. I, I, all right. I don't even know what to say anymore. I just keep saying the same things over and over because there's so many good items. This is our first piece of Iron Man. It's Iron Man suit, right leg. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that, that's, that's awesome. That's our first ever Iron Man piece. And I don't think Cody has any. And I don't think Mike has any. Diamond spikes, mob drop, player kill only. So that's that's a cool item as well. I guess it's used for some sort of farm. I think I have full sharp shot, so maybe this might not be new. It might be because the item ID changed on the latest update. Um, so that yeah, I don't trust those new recipes actually, guys, because they could actually be old. I am loving it. Another wild card token. These are the best tokens you can get because they can turn into any Overwatch armor piece. You get to choose what it becomes. So that's pretty sweet. Two buckets, that's always a good sign. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? Rat upgrade warrior. 40 base rat health. 12 base rat armor. 10 base rat attack. Uh, I will definitely take some rat attack. Thank you very much. We're gonna have a whole squadron of rat attackers, man. They're gonna be taking over the world for us one day. I think that's pretty much it for like epic epic stuff i'm sure i'm missing something another web shooter and uranium block whoa i've never gotten a piece of creation ever and then i got a creation helmet with cody the other day and then i just got another one that's insane all right well we need to go home we're gonna do the fan of the day to oh what you gotta be kidding me oh my sheeps are... Oh, no. I AFK'd on the server. Because I thought we had the problem fixed with the exploding mobs. Clear we, we do not. Oh, look at all the holes. I can never AFK on this game anymore. Uh, this is not... Good. Let's come in here. All right. I had a few pieces that I needed to check. Uh, Ghastly and Sharp Shot. But I'm... I'm 99% sharp shots done, yeah. So now we gotta find Ghastly. Hey, whoa! Hey, I will take it. That completes a set right there. That is awesome. So you know what that means. That's gonna be the set we give away today, guys. I'm gonna pick the fan of the day. Okay, we are back with the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, Caroline Petruzzi. You have won yourself the ghastly armor set. Spooky, spooky. That's awesome, man. I love when I get to complete an AOA armor set. It's just so much fun. And you know what? I think we're going to put the creation. Since we have level 100 creation, this is, and that's what it requires. This is obviously like a hard set to complete. We're going to put it next to the knight armor. And hopefully we'll be able to fill this one out pretty soon too. Okay. Oh, of course. My superhero suits are everywhere. Ugh. I will do that in my off time and I will find out if that is indeed a new piece of armor. Guys, if you want to be the next fan of the day, all you got to do is comment down below. Hashtag mob farm because we just fixed it. And boy, oh boy, it's glad to see that it works again. 
Um, I think the next episode, maybe, if you guys want, we can maybe try the hoppers. I always get so many good items from the hoppers in here. And now that we have those new mods, the Avarati mod, we didn't get any of that from the mob farm. But I have a feeling if we mess around in here, we could get it. Oh my gosh! Dude! That is rude to do to somebody in their own house, Rodog. And, oh, and now, okay, there's more of you guys. And I'm frozen. T this, this is not right, May. Y you can't just freeze people inside the house. Jeez. You know what? We're taking your gun away from you. You are not... What is this? Okay, this is a new mob that I've never seen before. What? Things are happening, man. And there's a hole in my roof once again because I am getting on the server. You know what? I, I need to go to bed. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget, hashtag of the day. Mom, mom.